Hello all, today I want to talk about forging equipment. So, how can you collect materials to forge equipment? How can you get higher quality materials? How can you use those to keep making higher and higher quality equipment? So, let's begin with the most basic way to gather materials, which is to attack monsters. So, I'm going to head to the world map. Every time you attack a monster, they have a chance of dropping a material. They won't drop materials every time, but the higher level monsters that you attack, the more likely that they are to drop materials. So you can see I have a level 2 monster right next to me and a level 11 monster right next to me. I chose to attack the level 11 specifically because it will have a higher chance of dropping a material for me. So let's see if we got anything. Yes, you can see I got a piece of lumber there. The quality of the lumber that I got is white, which is the lowest quality material and equipment. But when you attack these lower level monsters around 11 or so, that's the type that you are most likely to get. So I'm just going to keep attacking monsters until I have enough materials. I'm gonna speed this up. The higher level monsters I attack, the more likely I am to get materials. Because that was my first time attacking a 12, I got a lot of bonus rewards, I didn't get a material. The next 12 I attack should have a good chance. But you'll see there's no more 12s next to me. So if I want to find one to attack, it's a good idea to have your VIP activated because when you do that, you can search for the highest level monster. So you can tell I have VIP activated right now because the red, the VIP banner at the top of the screen is red. So I'm going to search for another level 12 monster. Attack. But oh no, I'm out of stamina. When you're really on the hunt for materials, it's a good idea to use some stamina potions. So I'm going into my pack to find one now so that I have enough stamina to keep attacking these monsters. You probably won't want to speed up when you're attacking monsters. I'm doing this because I'm on a test server. Got a wolfing that time. Speed up back. Pack another one. Gotta steal ingot. So you can see that once you start attacking monsters level 10 or above, you start to get pretty regular material drops. Make sure that you use up all of your stamina each day and over the long term, you will amass a good collection of materials. Each monster has the same chance to drop the same materials, but the overall material drop rate will be higher the higher level the monster. You will also with the very high level monsters, so level 16, 17, 18, above, start to have a chance of dropping higher quality materials. Uh, so attacking one monster may drop a green material, for example. Now what do I mean by green and white materials? If you check your storage, you can see that all the materials that you have gathered from hitting monsters are here. However, you can also see that the same material comes in several different colors. This is because Whenever you collect five of the same color of material, you can tap it and then tap fuse to fuse those five into one material of higher quality. So I just fused five white magic spar to make a green magic spar. Uh, once I have five greens, I can fuse them to make another blue magic spar. And that works for any color. You can see here I have five blue crystals. When I fuse them together, they make a purple crystal, which is one quality level higher. 
Why is this important? Because when I forge equipment, I can choose which quality of material I want to use. So let's say I want to forge this ivy ring. I have orange quality of bone, which is the highest possible quality. But I only have white and green quality agate. If I fuse this orange with a white agate, you can see that I have a 40% chance of white equipment. You can see that 40 throbbing there on the bottom of the screen. Now, it takes a very long time to save up materials to fuse uh, five for each color, especially as you get to the higher colors. So it would be kind of a waste of my high quality material if I fused it in this way and I ended up with a white piece of equipment because I could just use a white bone for that. If I change to green, my possibility of having green equipment is higher because there are not a bunch of quality levels in between. If I switch back to orange, you can see because there are three quality levels in between orange and white, green, blue, and purple, I have a small possibility of each level occurring. If I use blue, there's only one quality level in between white and blue. So white has a high possibility, blue has a high possibility, but green, the quality level in between, also has a possibility. If I want to guarantee that I have a 100% chance of forging material of a certain, or forging equipment of a certain quality, the only way is for me to use two materials of the same quality. So now you can see, because both of my materials are green, my equipment has a 100% chance of also being green. So I don't have to worry when I hit forge. Now, since I have forged a level one accessory, I can forge a level five accessory because each higher level requires a piece of equipment of the lower level in order to forge it. Oh, I have to collect my ring. Don't forget to collect your equipment first. Don't equip it if you're about to forge it into another piece of equipment. You can see here, it's the same rules. I have three pieces of level one equipment I could use to forge. If I pick green, then just as if I have picked a green material, I have a 100% chance of forging a piece of green equipment. However, if I pick white, now I have a 50-50 chance. I could have, end up with a white piece of equipment and potentially waste my green materials. However, if I use a blue piece of equipment, I cannot have a chance of getting white. I can only go higher possibly. So I have a majority chance of getting a green piece of equipment still, but I also have a 40% chance of getting blue, which would be a big jump up for me because remember, I have to collect five green skulls before I have, can have a blue skull and five green magic spar before I can have a blue magic spar. That would potentially mean hitting 25 monsters each to get five fuses of white material into green before I could go up into this level. So let's take the risk and see what happens. That time we ended up lucky. So we saved a lot of time collecting materials by taking a risk using a blue piece of equipment with green material, but it could have went the other way and given us a green material back. So I can equip it for now, but you can see I'm level 20, 
Most of my other equipment is level 20. I'll probably want to keep this removed and keep upgrading it. As I do that, I'm going to be looking to use consistent colors of materials so that I have a good level of certainty of what my result will be. As you get into higher levels, you can see that they require more materials. So you really do want to hit those monsters every day and start saving materials early so that you can fuse as many as possible. This one will be interesting because I have three different possible color qualities. So it will be interesting to see what happens. The greatest probability is blue but we could hit the lottery and get orange. <gasps> Ooh, purple, that's actually not that bad. So sometimes again, it is worth the risk. I'm going to equip that for now. You can see that this square is glowing because I have a piece of eligible equipment there. Now, in addition, if you don't have time to hunt monsters down, for all those materials that you need. There are two ways to get materials chests. One is to go to the shop and go to other, buy a few normal chests, five, buy a few superior chests, Go to my pack. These will give me, I got very lucky with my normal chests. Over half were green. These will give me more materials faster. You don't have to purchase materials chests though. You can also earn materials chests through rewards and by rallying the ancient ruins. So remember to hit monsters every day, start collecting materials early, also hit the ancient ruins. You will sometimes get materials chests as a reward. You can buy materials chests in the game shop if you're short on materials and need some quickly, make sure that you frequently check the materials in your storage area, forge them to get higher quality materials, and try to pair materials of the same quality to get a better guarantee for what your equipment quality will be.